Okay. Hi, my name is David Hodson, and I'd like to introduce you to a really unique creature, the horseshoe crab. This is a horseshoe crab. You may have seen these on the beach or in the lagoons. You might have seen their shells along the beach. Now I'll let you know a secret. A horseshoe crab is not a crab. It's actually a relative of the sea spider. Horseshoe crabs have been around a long time, a lot longer than you and me. Both scientists agree that they've been around for two to three hundred million years, long before the dinosaurs roamed the earth. Now this is the horseshoe crab tail. The tail is very, very hard and brittle and very sharp at the end, so it's very easy to get poked by it. Now a horseshoe crab has ten legs, two sets of five. The mouth is in the middle. Now not to worry, horseshoe crabs cannot bite. They don't have a lower jaw. And what they do is they grind up their food with their shoulders here and then push the food into their mouth. Now, the way to tell a female horseshoe crab and a male horseshoe crab is by the legs. As you can see, all ten legs have little pinchers on the end. This is a female. Now the male horseshoe crab has one claw that has like a boxer shaped end on it. This is to hold on to the female horseshoe crab when they come ashore to mate. Ready to go. When the female horseshoe crab is ready to lay her eggs, he'll attach her, himself to her back and she'll drag him ashore and then they'll mate on the beach. Now on this horseshoe crab, as you can see, white spots here are barnacles which attach themselves to the shell. On the back, you can see a lot more of them. Now typically, you will find one female horseshoe crab with 20 male horseshoe crabs when they mate. The female is definitely not shy. Now horseshoe crabs have 10 eyes. As you can see, we have two large compound eyes on top. You have two simple eyes in the front. Can you get that? Okay. You got one on its tail and another five underneath. Now the one on its tail, five underneath, and the two simple ones on top are just light sensors. And uh, basically what they use it for is navigation. The two compound eyes on the other hand have ten lenses in them. What they do is they see in black and white and they see shadows. What they use them for is to find mates. Now to imagine how that would look if you had that, it would be like having a hundred screens in black and white in slightly different aspects to see your environment. So you can see this one's uh, pretty rambunctious right now. My horseshoe crab has very unique blood. The blood is copper base and it is light blue in color, unlike the blood we have, which is red. Now, the blood also has some other unique qualities. I'm not going to go into them in this video. That will be for the next video.
Now under here you can see book gills. You have two sets of them and they're just like leaves in a book. They use these for breathing and also for mobility. Okay, if you'd like to learn more about horseshoe crabs, just go to horseshoecrabs.com. That's horseshoe-crabs.com. Thank you for watching.